drop. Hello everyone and welcome to the Elite Game Chop Shop. I'm here with Zenrut. Hello. And that's it. That's just us. It is usually just us though, and we're here to talk about <laughs> Never been. Uh except for Defer, he was here for one thing. I always feel like he sucks to smash. Yeah, that was merely just an excuse to just talk shit on Defree on his uh bad <laughs> smash skills. Uh he's I'm good sport. Bad. Yeah. He's a good dude. He's a good sport. Uh, we're here to do an update on Kingdom Hearts because now that the game Kingdom Hearts 3 is legitimately released, I can't play it because my stuff is in storage, but that did not stop Zenrod from playing it, and he's playing it now, actually. And it real, real good. Uh, I played it, full disclosure to all of our, our fans, I played it through the entire... Uh... Yeah, through the entire episode to be released. Just to give you a good headspace of how easy it is for us to talk about Dokkan sometimes. It's super easy to talk about Dokkan when all you have to do is talk about how much you like something now. Yeah, I mean, I tell you right now, uh, the big boy scale has saved Dokkan for me. It's currently my most uh, played gacha because of it. <laughs> because really? Of, yeah, it's that in Legends. And the only reason Legends isn't higher is because I use skip tickets. So That is pretty interesting. Yeah, I, I'm also uh, not... My mm -hmm. now is JoJo, Pitter Patter Pop. Yeah, it's surprising. You know, usually, uh, Fake Grand Order is my number one, but for the start of the new year, it's dead. So it's like, hmm, don't really, really feel like doing anything when you don't give me good things to grind, so why bother? Oof, that's pretty rough. Yeah, but I expected it. Like, I'm two years ahead. Um... This is not a, just a gen in general gotcha talk. We just ended up talking about it. Let's talk about why we came here, which is Kingdom Hearts 3. That game is out, and it is pretty good. Yeah, from the little I saw on the stream that you did, it looked uh, fun to play. And then the story stuff, uh, your mileage may vary. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Uh, I'm going to put it a little less nice. Uh, it fucking sucks. Yeah. I could see it rubbing off a lot of people. I hate it. Um, I shouldn't say it sucks because I guess I can see how some people might like it. The most obnoxious. Think of the worst episode of Naruto. Uh, every line of Kingdom Hearts dialogue. So it's just Sora saying, believe it a bunch. And then he says, I need to go. Pretty much. Like, uh, out and say the edgiest shit you've ever heard in your life. He'll be like, uh, loneliness is true power. And then Sora's like, nah, -uh, I have friends. Magician. And that's what it is. And then he the says, di all the dialogue is, is kingdom is a uh, four kids Yu Gi Oh. That's all it is. And I'm on the, I'll just say, I am the, the like one, that. one of the few minority of people who really likes that shitty dub of Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As long as you acknowledge it's the shitty dub of Yu-Gi-Oh, like, I guess it's fine. Yeah, it is. Uh, I love hearing the voices. I love hearing Mako go, Go, my fish! Go, attack Joey's life points! And then Joey goes like, Ah, oh, man, what am I gonna do? Yug, my sister, Serenity, her eyesight, my motivation. And then <laughs> he wins. And then it's like, great. This is all fantastic. Like, uh, a scene that sticks out for me. That's a very good comparison to what Kingdom Hearts is like. Remember in Battle City when Yugi duels Kaiba? Yes. I, I watched this the other day because it was on... It was in my YouTube recommended and it was like Twitch chat reacts to Dark Paladin. Yeah. That sounds pretty cool. And <laughs> of course, you know, Yami Yugi for some reason thinks in the voice of Little Yugi. Why that happens in the dub, but sitting there and he's thinking and he's like, Kaiba summoned his blue eyes ultimate dragon. Sake, I'm gonna lose. All I can do now is believe in my friends, and it's like they're not even do they're not even there. <laughs> on one card game, no amount of friendship love that is gonna help you win. Hearts line of dialogue is like. Yeah, and again, I think that there is a certain amount of people who go like, uh, especially for someone like me who is a big fan, and I will say that um, I'm not comparing it to, 
uh, because obviously the Disney movies that they are in there, the worlds that they are visiting are written better than the Kingdom Hearts <laughs> stories that they give them for. Like um, Tangled, I think, for example, gets a little bit of like a really weird uh, treatment because uh, so one of the things that is different is that uh, when Flynn, uh, his big scene for anyone who has not seen Tangled, he gets stabbed and dies. And then through uh, magic, uh, Rapunzel is able to bring him back. But then the the scene is given actual legitimate gravitas. He doesn't. I don't think he wakes up and goes, "I liked brute. I like brunettes." <laughs> it's like no. <laughs> I don't know why he says that. Like I I, I don't want to say it's in the movie at all. <laughs> so they it's added. Also pretty funny. Um, just like some Kingdom Hearts three, neat little trivia. Mm-hmm. and a lot of it they were talking about the tangled world and they were like yeah literally kingdom hearts 3 fucking just butchers the shit out of tangled uh you know how they cut out the like secondary bad guys yes so apparently now i haven't seen tangled for those of you who don't know i have not seen tangled i have and steals the tiara i guess to give to them yeah uh well in the they're not in the game the tiara so he just ran so when he leaves her, her on the boat to go give them the tiara i guess uh they're not in the game so he just fucking leaves with the tiara in the bag so it makes him look like a gigantic asshole yeah uh the thing is is that like so here's the way it plays out in legit tangled he tries to uh give them the tiara but then he also is like having like some he ends up having second thoughts but then he ends up like the thing you don't see is that mother golfel teamed up with those uh side villains and then they basically made it look like um he had betrayed her that's the way that it was supposed to look not the other way around and so the way they made it look in kingdom hearts was that uh Z- the weird organization guy put him to sleep put his hands on a on a boat and drifted him off to sea <laughs> Like, and then put the tiara in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. You also don't know that, um, and this is, again, something that might be because it's a stranger visiting a strange land, but in the beginning of Tangled, from minute two, you know that Mother Gothel kidnapped Rapunzel as a kid and that the, uh, the kid that's missing is her. She doesn't know that, but there's something inside her that kind of knows that, and that's why she keeps drawing shit around the tower. And but that stuff doesn't come up out of nowhere. So for someone like you, you thought that Mother Gothel had just drawn up all that shit in her tower. Yeah, I, I did. In the game, sitting there looking at the hearts. Yeah. But in the very, very, very beginning of the level, out of the tower, there's no like build up. Lands bumps into Flynn. And then by the time he catches up to Flynn, they've already got Rapunzel out of the tower. No idea had written that. I legitimately thought that was just how her room was decorated. The biggest fucking idiot on the planet. Yeah. It also kind of neglects some of the things like you weren't 100% sure. If you did not watch Tangled, you have no idea why Rapunzel is so strong. Like in the movie, she is legitimately the most like uh the strongest human character for sure like in terms of just her hair the way she's able to use it like as like a grappling hook her frying pan which is which is so op eventually they had to take it away from her because she beat every villain with the frying pan in one hand the the pascal gets kind of like his her iguana buddy he doesn't get enough mentioned because you're like why do i care about what the iguana thinks in this scene and the reason is because in the beginning uh, Pascal hated uh, Flynn and didn't trust him at all. That's like her only friend, uh, Rapunzel's. So they do a lot of like weird butchering for Tangled, but I feel like the people who watch Tangled and like it, but don't like it to the point where they go like, this is such a weird butchering of it. It's similar to like, I guess Aladdin kind of gets the same treatment, but I want to say Aladdin's story wasn't as weirdly butchered as it was in Tangled. Like, it's, I mean, they have to cut out stuff to fit in the anime bad guys that Sora has to fight, and I get that. Yeah. No idea what's going on through most of the Tangled world. Yeah. Like, it makes sense. It's like a mm-hmm. theme 
in Kingdom Hearts is that the movie, you probably have no fucking clue what's happening. Uh, and the best part about Kingdom Hearts 3 so far, dialogue totally lampshades the fact that they don't, like, explain shit. I'm sort of like, so what now? It's, like, the best thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty you good. You who have not played, uh, Frozen is in this game. Yes, I heard. One point, uh, they literally do the entire Let It Go song, the whole thing. Wow, okay. So is it like, the, is it the aerial world of Kingdom Hearts 3? No, oh no, it's a real world. So that she can sing Let It Go. Crazy. It's awful, and it's, I hate it is the very first line of dialogue after she finishes singing Let It Go is it Sora, Donald, and Goofy looking up at the castle thing she built? No idea what we just saw. <laughs> it's the very first thing in the character's mouth after they finish singing Let It Go. Just everything that Sora does it's obviously not intentional because they wouldn't be making fun of themselves this badly. Yeah, was intentional. It would be legitimately hilarious because, like, they'll have, they had this really shitty ass cutscene in Twilight Town where they're trying to rebuild some stupid ass computer, and is they're just like talking about computers to Sora, and he's asleep during the entire time. Yeah, during the whole time they were talking about this boring computer shit. Sora's just out. He just didn't give a shit. He checked out. All that kind of like little shit. Would be really funny on meta writing and not like them accidentally self owning. Yeah. I you know what the funny thing is is that um again, you're very early on and I don't know much, so the only thing I know about the game is stuff I've seen you stream. Uh Toy Story Land looks to be like the legitimate best uh world in terms of like actual writing and stuff in there. Uh Toy Story World it's it's my favorite one of the game so far. Uh, they won't let you just drop it. What do you Get mean? out to oh. Toy Story World. Toy Story stuff, you know, running around in toy shops and things that are lost and whatever the hell. Uh, and you're like, oh, great, we got all the toys. Um, someone goes, oh, shit, no, we don't. <laughs> one of the toys is missing this store so you run to the store and you get them okay, we found rex oh no ham is gone okay let's go to the store and find ham um, and they're like oh no uh one of the army men is gone and so then you have to go find him in a different store sarge thing again second time and then buzz goes missing start turning Buzz going missing into like this melodramatic like uh or testing the hearts of not human things and how we can do evil with them and the darkness because huh. Zen Hello Oh no have you been norded? Sen? Sen? Where are you? I think he got candle checked. I record we're back uh zenra did not get norted like i thought he did he's back nope i'm okay i'm it's, okay it's perfectly okay your quality sounds way better too by the way oh good maybe we should so me being the dumbass that i am uh i was telling that story when we lost connection and i did not know that we lost connection so i finished the whole story nice you know <laughs> where it ended <laughs> let me just say uh you said that we the 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 toys 
they had to go is like uh we have to find the hearts of toys and uh warp them okay fuck them. that's very and... close to the end uh so good all that dumb bullshit and xehanort is like uh we're running tests on the hearts of toys and empty vessels and us is in the darkness because all it took was losing andy and and then of course you save him all the bullshit of that world is vindicated by the fact that Woody, the goddamn toy cowboy, looks Xehanort right in the face and goes, I have no idea what you just said, but I don't care because I don't want to listen to someone with no friends that nobody loves. <laughs> <laughs> so this man, it's Woody, basically tells the final boss of all of Kingdom Hearts lore that he has no friends. Oh my god. See, look, okay. Toy Story is fucking fantastic because that's what they should have been doing more along. They should have added more worlds of, like, Toy Story where the central message of is literally, you got a friend in me. So these bunch of edgelord anime boys show up and be like, ah, oh, the darkness. And then Woody goes, bitch, <laughs> are you serious right that now? Basically exactly what happens. So far, it's the best line in the game. It's when he's just like, yeah, but you have no friends, fucking loser. Uh, the yeah, he should t he should go to like, um, Lilo and Stitch world and start talking about how family will eventually leave you just for Stitch to go. Ohana means family, and then just have no idea what else the fuck this guy's saying. Like, <laughs> like it it really does feel like uh maybe it helps that it's because they're like a oh no. I don't know. Maybe it's something just because Woody is such a cowboy. So he had such like an old. It literally is feels like telling an old cowboy man like, all right, here's what's going on. And they go like, well, don't know what that bullshit was about, <laughs> but you're talking crazy. Uh, yep, yeah, that's that's pretty much exactly what he said. Oh, also, uh, I'm sad to report that he does not say uh, reach for the sky. Damn, he does say the other lines. He does say the, uh, this town ain't big enough for the both of us, which is a fine but I really was hoping for a reach for this guy. Man. And then the, the funny thing is that the Toy Story world was really weird because uh, the beginning of it, Buzz is like super weird. So it almost felt like, are they trying to say that? <laughs> is Buzz Woody's Riku? Is that what they're, <laughs> is, is that what they're trying to say? Woody's Riku. I think in lore, I think that's canon. I think it makes the most sense because you start, uh, you look at Toy Story 1, the two of them are basically foes for the majority of it until the end they realize they're friends. Toy Story 2, uh, Buzz has to save Woody, and um, in that similar, Riku does come at the end and save Sora after like, dealing with his bullshit or whatever. Um, and then Toy Story 3 is about them growing up and learning that uh, at any point we could die. But it's okay for kids to move on because there will always be more kids for us to love and entertain. And I don't know what Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be about, but I'm going to guess it's not that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so far, uh, it's about Xehanort is a dick. Yeah. Is that the that pink-haired guy that showed up in the Tangled World and was like... Uh, uh, no, that's Marluxia. Yeah, that's the guy who knows Sleep Powder. Yeah, he's a sub dick. He's not he the is, dom. Like, dick below the king dick. He's the balls. Yeah, yeah, he's a real pair of testicles. Not the head. He's the shaft. Yeah, the the shame of it is, is that I, uh, as someone who doesn't have his PS4 on him, it does look really fun to play. You're just doing a lot of flippy shit. Yeah, that's like ninety percent of it is just doing sick flips. It is like when it's uh, very fun. It's like when you turn off all gravity in Tony Hawk. So all you're doing is jumping in the air and you're doing like a bunch of kick flips and nine hundreds and you're doing you're doing all these moves for no discernible reason. Uh, other than they look really cool and then you land and it's like, okay, one million points. That's kinda of what Kingdom Hearts three feels like to me. <laughs> That's what it looks that like. That is more or less what it is. Uh it's all just sick ass flips and moves. Yeah. And it's a Keyblade lot of... into other stuff now, so you get guns, and I got even more stuff since the guns. 
I don't even use the guns anymore. That's how good the shit I've gotten is. That's pretty cool. Toy Story one uh, is a cactus with a cowboy hat on. That's what the Keyblade looks like. That's amazing. Because of course it does. Yeah. Uh, its transformation mode is into a giant toy hammer. Also good. It turns from that into drill punchy hands. Yeah, that all makes sense to me. Uh huh. Checks out. Very Toy Story. One hundred percent. It reminds me of when uh, you used that tang- tangle sword when you were in the toy land, and all I could remember is like all the times they had to hide from humanity. And then I would think it'd be really funny if there was actually people around, and they're like, "Okay, so we have to be stealthy." And then Sora summons a giant fucking tower <laughs> and starts <laughs> fighting everyone. Off the giant tower. Yeah. Here's another good thing, um, uh, which is a great line that Buzz says when they're talking about. It sounds like he's saying that they made two worlds, one that looks similar to ours and the other that isn't. And then Buzz says, that's stupid. You can't have two (laughs) worlds. Oh, wait, you're from a video game. Maybe that's the way it works in your video game, but this is the real world. Yeah, Buzz, when he says that this is the real world. That it, shit killed me. It's so good. His reaction of like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then his thing of like, uh, another one of these video game toys coming in. <laughs> Buzz is borderline like uh, the guy from Gran Torito. Kind of racist. A little bit. He's just like, I don't, you know, I was fine with these regular toys, but these video game based toys? No, thank you. And then later on, he gets really cranky because he's starting to wonder if the where's the toys. He starts to like saying like, "What about the rights of the toys?" And then Sora's like, "I don't know what you mean. They're just toys." And then Buzz is like, <laughs> "Fuck! I hate you so much. I can't trust you." There's a lot. Yeah, of Sora was not down with civil rights in that world. No toy civil rights. He should have been more. Should have been more. Buzz is like, "What about these poor?" toys that you were subjected to you rode the corpse of this toy where was his say during the fight and then Sora's like I don't know what you're talking about dude <laughs> Sora's like I don't what uh yeah it's like literally a culture clash I would actually prefer it if Toy Story uh that Toy Story Kingdom Hearts 3 was just Toy Story and so you had to deal <laughs> with like Buzz and Woody as they kind of like like they actually legitimately joined you and they're like okay so we're toys uh, and this is the real world? This is how people act? Wait, toys aren't real in this world? What the fuck do you mean? How? <laughs> how? This is a living... Explain. Be- this toy was a living being! But it doesn't move! It doesn't make sense! Uh, 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 so apparently the reason he was mad... Mm-hmm. That... That you were drive still self-aware literally he was like basically force yourself on that toy yeah it really mad did. at sora uh, that's a legit thing to be mad about because <laughs> like again none of the toys suggested that he do that and as far as they were concerned it's like okay we shouldn't do that like they were like they never ca- ca- came to their mind as like well we would never use another toy to kill a toy that doesn't make any sense and meanwhile donald's like ride that thing <laughs> sora <laughs> it's 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 weird in a way that i kind of want it to be weird <laughs> but again i don't know the quality of the other worlds and stuff so it seems like it's good in the gameplay sense and then kind of again the nice way of saying it the way i said it your mileage may vary <laughs> Yeah, that's the polite way of saying that shit's really dumb. Yeah. If you are like me and you're like, I have no problem with this very bad dub of four kids, then it's for you. Just kind of understand that it's not the best that it could be (laughs) by no stretch of the imagination. I also feel like this might be just because Kingdom Hearts 3 was supposed to be a wrap up of everything. So they would expect, I guess, more from the story. But at this point, the story has gotten so far manageable to only a very select. And even then, of those select, not all of those are feeling the story of three. So I'll see where this kind of goes up. I'm very, I'm still going to play it the second I get my PS4 back because it looks like fun. Yeah, totally worth playing. Even Even if you think it looks stupid, totally worth playing. Yeah. 
<sighs> All right, then. I think that's... I think we're good for that. That's a good update on Kingdom Hearts. That's the first game that since we've started Legal Chop Shop where the game actually came out <laughs> and we could talk about it in this finished product. That's true. We're almost there with Jump Force. Very close. Our third, esp- our third episode on Jump Force. I was about to say, I, I could not believe those motherfuckers when Dai and Jotaro came out. I was like, can one of our podcasts not have some oh, news? I think the... Uh... The funniest part is that they were never officially announced. It was on a goddamn Facebook ad. That's also pretty funny. But those are like, uh, oh yeah, it's not uh, it's not not Dragon Ball, One Piece, or Naruto. We don't even need to announce it. Nobody cares. No. And then everyone was like, holy shit, there's characters not from Naruto, One Piece, or Bleach on here. Or Dragon Ball. And everyone was like, alright. Well, technically Dai is Dragon Quest, but whatever. Dai is... Die better be busted. Oh yeah, he better be or collection style busted. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I want him. Better... Aaron, he just starts one shotting dudes. Like, I want the match to start, and he's already doing the ultimate attack on the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the level of die I want. But yeah, um, maybe we'll do one final thing when I actually legitimately get to play it, and because I want to say we can save all the spoiler talk for a much later date uh oh wait one thing before we end it because you need to look for um the ending of this show if you remember it by heart or not you need to find it uh is that uh the intro to toy story when they play that fake ad where i'm like is this like a legitimate ad for a later final fantasy game in it fantastic oh very rex <laughs> yes that uh whatever the hell that thing was is great it was a fantastic like yeah this is how our trailers go huh it really is just yeah, this it was apparently a uh a final fantasy 15 parody it looks like it and the best part was that rex was playing it but he was really upset about it yep sounds about right rex as canonically as told in toy story 2 big gamer loves playing the video games uh, they uh always yeah i think it would have been funny if they would have included that game so then at uh inside toy story land you, you can, can. you can play it in toy story land really man this game's got yeah hard. it's a it's a it's a demo uh in the video game section of toy story world that's great that's amazing <laughs> I'm glad they did it. Also, uh, there's a movie that you can go watch in Twilight Town that's like a old school, like Steamboat Willie tier old school Disney. Mm-hmm. It has a social media app that you can get. Mm-hmm. And it has Mr. Game & Watch-esque minigames that you go find in the world. That's hilarious. That's great. Can't wait to play it one day. At least this. One of these days. Uh, so Zen, why don't you take us out? Uh, okay, so I think this is right. If if it's not right, correct me. Everybody, for coming and watching the Illegal Gaming Chop Shop, where we talk nonstop shop about the cream of the gaming crop. Yeah, that's right. Goodbye, everyone. All right. <laughs>